Hey guys, I'm Lauren Jane and my goal is to inspire you to grow and to overcome your fears and just whatever life throws at you, realize that you got this and you can do it. So I want to tell you guys a story about how I got this giant art mural commission and I could have been held back by something, but I persevered anyways. Whether you're an artist or an entrepreneur or you just randomly stumbled upon this video, this is for you because it's about the human condition of we all have fears, we all have obstacles and we have to overcome them in order to reach our dreams. So I want to let you guys in on a little secret that almost nobody knows about this mural. Why am I going to tell you guys? Because if I'm not honest with you about what really happened behind the scenes, then you may not even realize how close you are to your dreams and how you can overcome your obstacles and reach out and do the thing that you really want to do. Maybe you want to start an online business or write a book or speak on stage, get an art galleries or just make YouTube videos. Whatever your thing is, I just want you to know that you can reach it, even if it seems impossible. So here's the story. Back in June, I heard that the business that my fiance worked for wanted to have a mural created. Now they aren't just any business, they're traffic and funnels. They're a very well-known business in the internet marketing and online coaching world, and they're a multi-million dollar business. So it wasn't just any wall or just any business. And even though I had an in because my fiance worked for them, I knew that I could lose this mural to just any other local artist just as easy. I could have given up on getting this mural contract for several different reasons. Not only had I never made a mural like this before, okay, one other time, but like that's a story for another day and it doesn't even count. But there was also another team member who had an artist girlfriend. Like what are the chances? So what did that mean? The heat was on. And then as if these two things weren't enough, I had the real problem that held me back. My hand was paralyzed. My right hand could not hold a pencil, could not hold a pen, could not hold a paintbrush, let alone paint an entire wall. So for those of you who don't know, I have a mess, which sometimes means that my brain doesn't send a signal to my hand or my arm or something like that uh, the proper way. Sometimes it's gonna be tingling, sometimes it's numbness, or it's just not working properly. The thing that can bring this on sometimes is stress. So unfortunately I had just been way too stressed out and I was experiencing the results of that. And it was one of the worst experiences of my life, but almost no one knew. I could have let this hold me back, but I really wanted this mural and I was determined to get it. So what did I do? I was proactive about it. I went in when almost no one was there. I took a photo of the wall. I started coming up with my ideas and my plans and I was laying in photos in Photoshop and Canva so they could see an example of what the mural could look like. I pre-wrote the contract. I had everything ready to go. I envisioned actually getting the mural. I envisioned walking in there with confidence, walking out with a signature and knowing that I was going to get this mural. So I messaged the woman that was in charge of finding the artist and I made sure that I was ready and available to go in and just blow them away. I wore an outfit that made me feel like a classy professional artist, one who lives in New York and lives in a brick loft and gets commissions all the time. So I did all that prepping and planning and I was so excited and the day finally came and my hand still wasn't working. What was I going to do? I couldn't draw. I couldn't hold a pen to sign the contract. I couldn't tell them I could draw straight lines and a geometric pattern on a giant wall, but I knew I was going to do it anyways. So I was going to bring in a clipboard and take notes and look all professional. And then I realized, well, that's not going to work. They're going to see that I can't even write legibly. So, I brought in my phone and I took notes that way. And I pretended like, yeah, this is how I always take notes. Don't you? I also brought in my laptop with all the images I had already created where it looked like the potential mural was already on their wall because I laid it in using Photoshop and they were sold. Now inside I was jumping for joy, but I knew that nothing was concrete until they actually signed the contract. So I continued to stay professional and I was sending back and forth mock-ups and plans and here's how the mural could look all while still freaking out in the inside that I wasn't gonna have a hand that could even make the painting. I knew that reducing stress was more important than ever before. I booked my first acupuncture treatment. Was I terrified about needles being poked in my body? Yeah, even though I was massage therapist for six years, I still was freaked out about the needles. But I'd read several articles where they said that doing acupuncture was the best thing for my MS. I did fire company, massage, drink green tea, I did Reiki. I did everything I could possibly think of and it worked. I got my hand back. I got the commission. Everything was going to work out. I had never rented scaffolding before, but I figured out how to rent it, how to build it, how to get up on it. And then I had fears of 
being up high and falling, I had one paintbrush in one hand and a paint can on the other and no guardrails because I didn't realize I should have gotten guardrails. But I got over all of those fears, all of those obstacles, and then I was creating this amazing piece of art that I just, I had in my mind and I envisioned it and it was so exciting. And as I peeled off that last piece of tape, I knew I had not only just created art, I had overcome all these fears and all these obstacles and I had done it. That day I reached a new level not only as an artist, but as a person. I tell you this story because I want you to be inspired and I want you to know that life is going to throw you obstacles, but you have to overcome them. You and you alone are the one that makes the decision. The one that decides, I'm gonna go after my dreams with reckless abandon and make them happen. If you like this video, give me a like, subscribe so you can stay in touch and uh, stay inspired.